Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We're talking Thursday flipping investments in today's video. For your Wednesday, we're going to take a look ahead at some stuff that I think is going to rise on the market after rewards this week. Now, of course, we have a new team of the week that is coming out today. That's going to impact some of the stuff on the market. There's a lot of stuff going on right now with the Foot Freeze promo. Uh, yesterday's content with Al R and the, um, the CDM. Uh, I'm forgetting his name right now, the CD, Kappa, the CDM from La Liga. I think uh, some people weren't very happy with this, but in my opinion, I feel like this objective is one of the best. Besides Balassi, even Voland is interesting, but Kappa and um, Awar were two of the best like objective and SBC cards that we've had so far in this promo. I think a lot of people are going to be trying them out this weekend um, with the position changes, especially LR. looks like a great box to box midfielder or a center attacking mid wherever you choose to play him. And the big thing is he's French. So we're going to talk about the new French cards that are in packs, the new foot freeze items, talk about possibly how the team of the week could impact what we see go up on the market this week. And honestly, just look at the stuff that goes up every week because there are cards that go up almost every week in this game. Uh, but this week, I want to take a look at some specific things that based on what's going on in the game right now, uh, I think could be points of interest. So, of course, what we have gotten this week is continual foot freeze content. More SBCs are coming out. Now, the Alwar one today, I think a lot of people are doing. If you take a look on uh, Footbin, this our card with all of the we, we call this the hype check right on the, on my channel when we're live streaming on twitch link down in the description we call this the hype check right we take a look at the card 4900 thumbs up on the first day of an sbc that's a lot of thumbs up for an sbc card like that and this kappa objective card 3000 thumbs up that's really good that is really, really good. Uh, and then, of course, there's some pretty hyped up cards as well. Usman Dembele, 3,000 thumbs up. That's actually less than the Kappa card. He's also got 1,000 down votes. And then St. Maxman probably has a lot of down votes too. Never mind. He's got 2,700. I wondered if he would have more down votes because he's extinct. Still extinct at 1.3 million. I don't think that... You know what? I'm not entirely sure, but I, I don't think he's going to end up being 1.3 million in a week from now. So all, all you guys that are sniping him... Um, you're just hoping for a quick price range update and you're able to sell that card because other than that, I really don't know that it's going to continue to go up. But the rest of these guys have actually bounced back from where they were a little bit today. They're going to continue to get packed. They're going to be going down at rewards. We're not really focused on these cards as much as some of these other cards that are in the game that have come out that people already have in their, in their teams and what they might be building around, right? Adama this week, Premier League French. Uh, league on Premier League French and League on special cards and even some golds are would be in my opinion of a place to look this week. Now I've added some cards to my transfer targets that I think I'm going to be keeping my eyes on. Uh, if you're going to go that route this week, uh, you know, Yorente today dropped because of the um, the Kappa objective. So be careful with that one. But he still links to Joao Felix, right? Because that's a big time green link that a lot of people like to have. The Joao Felix Player of the Month, Pogba today. This informed Pogba was one that I was keeping my eyes on because a lot of these French cards actually rose up today into the 6 p.m. time frame. Because if you guys were not aware, aware the cards that were released yesterday, uh, the uh, wow, and now Pogba's back up, man. See, Pogba was back down under 410k today after being 435 plus because there was a lot of leaks, right? The, the leaks that came out about the same Maximin, about the um, Usman Dembele. So people were buying link investments to these cards that are extinct on the market and that are very, very expensive. And we knew they were going to be expensive day one. So I, I definitely don't think I would have recommended buying any of those items. But a lot of those guys like Pugba, uh, Griezmann's Inform was up today. And those cards got panic sold, or not panic sold, but they dropped after these cards came out. The Griezmann and the St. Maxman came into packs, and people realized, yo, these are actually really expensive. Griezmann was 110 earlier today. After the panic selling, he was 130 earlier this morning. He's still a French item. He still is a very good player in this game, and he's down a lot from his normal trend. Um, so I thought that was a really good buy today. We were talking about that on stream for about 110K. That's a great buy. It's still at 119, right? A lot of these cards have maybe rebounded a slight bit, like that Pogba we were just looking at. He was under 410K earlier today on the PlayStation. 
Some of these cards might be up a little bit already from when you're looking at their prices, but it doesn't mean that it's a technical bad buy, right? You still know a lot of French links. These are still new cards, right? The new, the Pogba inform is fairly new. Um, that was out a couple weeks ago. And the stuff that you saw go up last week, right? I'm going to take a look at like some of the stuff that went up last week on the market as well. I want to look at some of that because a lot of that was just the simple overpowered cards that everybody likes to use in this game every week anyway, even regardless of like the new content that came out, right? Rashford is 121,000 coins at the moment. Last week, he went from 141 up to 151, which that does not seem like a big rise, but he was probably viable somewhere in the 130s, you know, on Sunday night to on, on Tuesday, actually into Wednesday. Um, and then he rebounded up past 150 actually into the weekend. Now he's down back to 121. He was in the one teens earlier today. That's a card that I could see going up further this week. And Golo Conte is a center defensive mid French, the best CDM in this game, 279. Last week he went 284 all the way up to 307. So, you know, not a crazy amount of profit margin right there, but solid, right? And these are just the most popular gold cards in the game. Joe Gomez, somebody who literally goes up every single week. It's hard to see here, but Joe Gomez was buyable last week at 32, 33,000 coins, and he was up at 40, 38, 39, 40,000 coins. So you could have bought a 33 and sold at 40 on this Joe Gomez. That was a really good flip. I actually did a little bit of that myself last week. And then of course your, your, your normal risers, right? This Mane gold card, yes, he was uh, out of packs at one point a little bit, um, but last week, 241 to 268, and then I was going to show you Salah as well, just because these guys are pretty high tier, and a lot of people don't invest in them, but look at this graph, bro. He's moving every week, two weeks ago, 250 to 280. Last week, 250 to 280 again. What is he right now? Mohamed Salah is 250,000 coins. Once again, he was even a little lower than that earlier today. Now, one thing I will mention is we have on Thursday, we have, well, today on Wednesday and tomorrow on Thursday, we have two new foot freeze SBCs coming that we know of, right? The first one today is most likely going to be Mbabu. We think it's a Wolfsburg player and it's going to be a CDM, I think, or maybe they just gave us Wolfsburg. I think I saw a prediction that, that showed a center defensive mid Mbabu, but we are getting a Wolfsburg player today. And then the SBC on Thursday is a center midfielder from... Liverpool. So that could be Trent Alexander Arnold position changed. That could be like Shakiri position changed. That could be literally anybody from Liverpool. But a center mid from Liverpool, people are going to do that SBC. Salah is a decent look this week. I know I shouted Mane already. Uh, I think a lot of people are on to this one. I've seen multiple people talk about Mane or mention it to me. But this guy in like the low to mid 220s, like 225 maybe, that's not a bad price at all for this guy, in my opinion, um, because of the links to the SBC. And he's also just a card that rises every week as we saw uh, on the flipping graph. So you can, you can still mess around with some of the gold cards in this game. If you're going to touch a gold card for a Thursday flip, the thing you want to look at is, is this card in the most popular player list? Is it high enough rated that a lot of people want to buy it? And if you take a look at their graph every week, like let's take a look at uh, De Bruyne. Does De Bruyne's gold card go up? This De Bruyne's gold card. You know, he went last week from 127 to 137. So that's a little bit of profit there. Decent amount, um, but not a ton, right? Let's take a look at one more just for uh, just for fun. Let's look at Pugba, right? He's uh, out of packs right now, so that probably is not helping him. But he's already up this week, 129. He's already been inflated because he is out of packs. You know, Pugba and Varane, since they are out of packs through the weekend... I've, I've heard some people saying like Varane was a buy in the 190s and I think he was there earlier today. Uh, now PlayStation price that is, you know, Xbox, you're probably looking and you want to see like 150 or something, but he's already kind of inflated now today. Uh, or sorry, yesterday he was down in the 200. So, he, you know, some of these guys, 193 on, uh, wow, yeah, weekly sell off. So some of the cards that are out of packs might be a little bit, you know, inflated already if you're looking at golds. But if we take a look at some of the other players, some of these freeze cards could do decently well, right? I mean, even Lucas Torreya, 64K, keep an eye on that one. Bernardo Silva, cards that link, maybe this new, like this Sané, 
you know, CDM, he's going to, we might have another uh, card today from the Bundesliga from Wolfsburg that would possibly link to him. So, you know, watch that item as a link investment, possibly hazard, you know, um, and just take a look at some of these other team of the week cards. Like I mentioned, Pugba, you know, Zahat Sun is 291. He's kind of down a little bit at the moment. Uh, the out of pack stuff is always a little bit safer, but especially if you're looking at promo cards, wow, what is this? The reef, this De Bruyne card gets no respect, no respect at all, man. That's way too cheap. Is that on the market? I doubt it is, but I'm going to check anyway, because this is one thing you can make coins off of is when somebody undercuts on footbin and footbin catches it, you can sometimes make profit off of this because somebody else will look at footbin to find their price. And he's actually not 359, he's 380. But, you know, um, some of these cards, like the past Team of the Week informs, Team of the Group Stage items, Sterling looks really low to me right now at the moment. 170 looks pretty low. He could bounce back. Of course, it all depends on who's in Team of the Week as well. Um, this week's Team of the Week, there's a prediction out here on foot bin. It's got Rashford, Benzema, Lewandowski, Suarez, Kempembe, her, uh, another tail Hernandez, Jonathan Ta, a Roberto Firmino, and a McTominay. So, you know, if Rashford gets in, I think this is the only prediction that I saw Rashford getting into. Let's go to Foothead for a second. Look at their team of the week prediction. They've got Firmino as well for the header against Spurs. Yeah, of course. Um, Teo Hernandez, 86. Kempembe. So again, more Ligue 1, more French, right? I like the French stuff for those types of links. And if they give a McTominay a pretty big boost, I was looking at somebody earlier today that could possibly just rise up with, you know, weekend league demand in general. This Bruno Fernandez first in form is a very, very rare card. He's 394 right now. He was 380s earlier in the day. I think I have one on my transfer targets by chance um, that I saw at like 390 flat. And I was trying to find an undercut, but look for a guy like this open bid. Look right there, 371. You might be able to find an open bid on some of these past uh, team of the weeks that are early on team of the week ones are still really rare and they fluctuate a lot on Thursdays um, But again this week if you're looking at lower tier cards It's all about what links to the new content that is out in my opinion and some of the freeze cards I think could do decent from team one um, Now of course if you are on rewards day and you want to try to flip some of the new cards from freeze that are in team two That is something you could get uh, you know possibly invested in as well because they've already bounced back a little bit tonight and that just tells me that people are, are trying them out a little bit they're also pretty rare day one but this Chiellini card right he's a CDM but this guy is a center back could could really be a beast he looks pretty solid with the pace boost as a center back 80 pace he looks pretty usable I think some people might try him out this week Matt Moreno as a right back card if you do the Kappa objective you get a strong link to the new Moreno Alex Moreno right back Goosens even looks decent. Um, so just kind of remember like what the new content is. And people are not usually spending too much on teams right about now um, because we're headed into team of the year. The market's really down. The game does not have a ton of hype in my opinion. Um, but there are still people that are out there buying some teams for weekend league uh, and still trying out new cards as well. Now today or yesterday with the our SBC and a lot of, there was a lot of panic on the market for that SBC. If I'm being honest, so this Stoikov icon card uh, icons, baby icons, especially are going to be great Thursday flips this week. In my opinion, especially the ones that are very um, sought after and um, desired, usable, hyped, good stats you know the drill right the, the the stuff the meta stuff right this figo card is like 610k at the moment um i don't really know if that's down for him or not but a lot of people are still using this icon as it is the central version of luis figo the only central version that we have in the game right now and he's out of packs right base uh icons are out of packs so some of these base icons that people really like to use. Figo, I just showed you Stoichkov, right? Another one that comes to mind is Baby Cannavaro. I mention him a lot as a baby card that is very hyped up. 700K flat for this guy, uh, or a little more than that, it looks like. That was one on bid. Um, but just look at some of these cards. They could fluctuate a decent amount um, just because they're out of packs. One way to kind of find a card that might be good is to go over here to Footbin, click on players, FIFA 21 players, drop down and then sort by version icons 
base, right? That's how I'm, I found this page right here. I sorted it by price. Sol Campbell is a card a lot of people use. Thierry Henry is a French left wing. You know, the, again, French links could see some movement there. Now, of course, if you're buying an icon, you want to make sure it's within your budget and you want to make sure that you're going to get a decent return on investment as well. So that's why I like looking at kind of this page too with some of the icons that are in the couple hundred K range because, you know, you don't want to spend too much and not be able to make any coins after tax. So, you know, Nedved might be a decent one. He's somebody people use a lot. Makalele as a right mid, just because of the position change, but also being a somewhat decent card in this game, 300K. Um, you know, of course, with all the French cards that have come out lately, this guy's really kind of gone up. He was 280 earlier today. Now he's back up to uh, 300K. I'm actually gonna search up this Cannavaro really quick because he's about to expire on my screen. 740. I mean, I have like, eh, it's not really a flip to be honest. I mean, I could probably make it work and maybe get a sale at 750. Uh, now the people bidding on it, man. So let's see where the sales at 730, 740, 705. Yeah. So, you know, wow, 799. So I'm not going to buy this kind of all right now. Technically, I could, I could probably flip him for like a little bit of profit, but it's, I'm not really wanting to do that. Um, but yes, continuing with what we were talking about earlier. Thursday flips, baby icons, I like them. Uh, just the meta golds, I like those because people buy meta golds every single week to fit their teams together. Now, League Un special cards, I'm kind of having not trouble, but you know, how many League One special cards are really out there? You have the, the Fabregas record breaker, you've got this Depay inform. Um, you know, some of those cards, I don't know if they're over, overlooked per se, but a lot of people are running untradeable teams right now in the game because of the fact that team of the year is coming and they don't want to spend a lot of money on their team so some some guys you will see link investments to those objective players that have be, recently been out uh or stuff like that you will see some of those things rise this week as well so it's probably very similar to last week in terms of what stuff will rise um for a thursday flip the only thing that i really would see hurting a thursday flipping market from like after rewards thursday into friday is if they would put out more icon sbcs um because i think that's one thing that you're going to see consistent panic selling on now watch those icons that we were just talking about the baby icons we have not gotten new actual icon SBCs that have been released. So I, I think a few of them did expire just recently. Like the Figo that we had, I forget who else was out, but Figo, Vandersar, and somebody else. These only have three days remaining, uh, and that would take us up to Friday. So in my opinion, we're gonna be getting new icon SBCs for individual players in the next couple of days. I just don't know when that is gonna be. If they're gonna drop one like they did last time where they dropped them a few days apart, or if they're just gonna drop them on Friday, Maybe they could drop them any day this week, right? And I think that's why people are getting interested and that's why people are kind of panic selling some stuff, especially icons into 6 p.m. UK and the content drop time every day is because people are expecting it or they think it could happen any day. So they're kind of selling it and, and expecting that ahead of time. So just kind of watch out for that. That could be an opportunity to pick up some stuff today um, on the market. Now, sell times for a lot of this stuff. You know, I bought an Alex to share a card to flip. I do have one Rashford. I'm trying to flip this Drogba and this Alaba, which I'm making coins on. I just need it to sell, right? But um, a lot of the stuff I'm going to be buying in the next 24 hours. You could wait until after today's content on Wednesday if you want to, depending on what SBC comes out. But the Wolfsburg, I'm not until if it's not Mbabu, I just don't know how much hype is there. It's not super linkable. Like Awar today was really, really linkable. French, League 1, a lot of League 1 special cards out in the game that people are using, especially with untradeable teams and the French nationality as a whole. Very linkable, right? Um, and then, of course, Kappa as a CDM in the um, in the La Liga, which you could probably end up playing in as a right back position change in game. I think that's a card a lot of people are going to go out and do. So just kind of keep those sorts of things in mind. Today's SBC player, if it actually is in Babu, uh, you know, I don't know which Wolfsburg player would have like really good links. So I'm just kind of curious about that. Just kind of watch the market over the next 24 hours before rewards. Um, and you might have an opportunity to get on some of this stuff. Some of the stuff, again, like if we take a look at the golds one last time, you know, it's pretty low. It's pretty low. It was a little bit lower earlier today. Joe Gomez was 29,000 coins. Conte was like 262. Uh, but some of these guys are still low. Like Mane is still pretty low in my opinion. Pogba's up some. Sun doesn't really rise on Thursdays, unfortunately. Um, you know, 
Uh, Salah is still around the same price. So it's for some of the golds, they're around the same price. And if you're looking for out of packs cards as well, I mean, these are always the quote unquote safest bet. You just want to make sure you're buying something that has hype that people are going to want to use, right? And people are going to want to play with uh, on the weekend. Like I have a couple of this Alex to share a card who, uh, you know, last week he went from 117 to 126. You know, I bought some today at 85,000 coins. I think he could easily go back to almost 100K. I think that's very doable for a Brazil striker, um, especially if people are still using like a Talisca um, or any other past inform with some Brazilian links in there as well. Just keep an eye out for some cards that get low you know, that are very rare out of pack specials. We always love those rule breakers. Of course, we always talk about those as being very rare and good flips. Of course, I would uh, recommend some of those this week. Quadrado could be interesting. Um, he was in like the 170s. He's up a lot. He was over 200K today. Now he's back down. So just keep an eye on that one. Um, and then some of the other team one rule breakers too, like Laporte is probably going to be a good flip this week with all the French cards that come out. Um, you know, this guy, you know, it doesn't look like he fluctuates that much, but, um, you know, he might go up a bit more this week. If you can find him, he's already up, right? Technically, he was 480, 490. Now he's up to 510. So if you find any low stuff in terms of just out-of-pack specials, always give those a go. Um, but I do think you will see a little bit of a, a, a rise with the market uh, this week because people are still playing weekend league, right? It's the holiday season. Maybe if people have a little bit more time on the weekend, um, especially headed up into like Christmas and stuff, you might see a little bit more people on. So that's kind of my thoughts for Thursday flipping investments this week. Um, again, French Premier League, League on are the three places that I would focus this week. Uh, and I'm trying to get some of these flips out tonight so that I can go in and buy some of those cards my Self. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.